Thanks, we're here today uh, speaking about evangelism. We're in Edel. Um, uh, just to let you know, evangelism is the gospel of the kingdom of God, and the question is, what is evangelism? Um, evangelism is fulfilling the commission to go into all the world and preach the gospel. Number two, evangelism is following the master, the preacher, Jesus, and his exemplary example, becoming fishers of men and helping him gather. Evangelism is frontline spiritual warfare. Number three, evangelism is a privilege, it's an opportunity to serve the Lord and tell people that they don't have to go to hell. And number four, evangelism is easy and enjoyable through the power of the Holy Spirit. It's difficult and comfortable without. Uh, number five, an evangelist is, is one who pr practices evangelism, one who should equip the saints for the work of ministry. Um, second question is, what is the gospel, if you don't already know? Gospel means good news, and the good news is that God loves us. We've sinned, Christ died for us, and that demands a decision. Okay, we can either believe or disbelieve that, accept or reject God's gift, repent or perish. Uh, the gospel is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes, for the Jew first and also for the Greek. Okay, who is the gospel for? Okay, uh, the gospel is for every tribe, tongue, people and nation, every creature, the Jew first and also the Greek, the poor in spirit, the pitiable, the sad, the unhappy, the wretched, those who sit in darkness and the shadow of death, youths, elderly, families, students, revelers, shoppers, etc. Uh, why should we evangelise? The Bible says we are commanded to go and preach, go and make make disciples of all nations mark 16 verse 15 and matthew 28 19 to 20 as the father sent me so i also send you um, god desires all men to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth 1 timothy 2 verses 4 to 6 god is not willing that any should perish but that all should come to repentance 2 peter 3 verse 9 and jesus will take vengeance on those who do not know god and on those who do not obey the gospel of our lord jesus christ Punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. 1 Thessalonians 1 verses 8 to 9. The harvest truly is plentiful, but the labourers are few. Matthew 9 verse 37. The gospel of Christ is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes. Romans 1 16. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? Romans 10 14. So the gospel must be told, made known, spread abroad, proclaimed, made public, spelled mm, out, mm. announced, declared, explained, communicated, spoken, publicised, published, broadcasted, circulated, dispensed, so. And what does go mean? Get out, get going, get moving, get underway, proceed, move, leave, depart, make a start. Amen, I'll come over with you, Mike. Yeah. And uh, this is, uh, this was a... Uh, a lesson. If you stand here. You stand yeah, here. Yeah. This was a lesson. Uh, we just read a little bit, but this is a lesson that our brother called Alan gave a uh, four-page talk to Royal Blood Ministries uh, a few weeks ago on a Thursday. And so, if you'd like a copy, uh, a brother Alan's sheet. If you let us know, uh, we can send you his email, and uh, you can email Alan. And I'm sure he'd like to. Uh, pass on uh, one of his sheets or even uh, um, if you want to invite him to your church he might be willing to go but uh, this is uh, a few pay a, a few paragraphs uh, from his sheet now I just want to ask my brother Mike a few questions about evangelism uh, <clears throat> local churches uh, the local church says that they shouldn't be doing evangelism what would you say to that local church I would say to that local church to go and read the Bibles and look at the last chapter of Matthew and the chapters in there that I read out. As Jesus says to go and make disciples of all nations and it's, it's, it's an instruction to go. And if Jesus says go, you just go. And that's it, Amen. you go out. Well, what about a young person? They've got saved recently and they're a bit nervous, they're a bit scared to go out and evangelise. What would you say to them if you? Yeah, yeah. A bit. What would you say to them? Um, I would ask him to um, 
I would ask him to go study, read the Bible, or, and watch videos on other people, how they do it, and to learn from them, or to hook up with people like me and Jay and, and yeah. encourage them to speak to them. So I'd ask him not to feel they're alone, but to seek out help for people who've done this kind of work before, and if they feel they feel the call for it, then to, get the re to use all the resources that are out there, whether it be on the internet, other pastors, ministries, yeah. and to do that. And and to pray as well. Yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. obviously you need to use the resources of heaven and pray on yeah, that. Yeah. The the uh, Ray Comforts group uh, in Europe, they have a European group, uh, Living Waters, uh, in Europe and in America, and they offer excellent training in doing evangelism. They give you uh, various lessons. So if you Google Living Waters, uh, Ray Comfort, you'll be. Uh, equipped if you get involved with them they will help you to evangelize so thank you for listening thank you brother uh, for this video thank you god bless you god bless you <laughs>